everyone and welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of War. Today, I want to start by breaking the monument right there. And then we're going to help our captain in finishing his quest to make sure that he gets some level ups. It's not exactly where I wanted to land, but you know, whatever. Don't mind me. I'll be out of your hair in just a second. No worries. Don't need to summon my bodyguards just yet. We're fine. Wonder if there's any purpose in doing that other than getting the experience, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's just get over here and start this mission. Where is it? It says it's like right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I was looking at the white arrow thinking it was me. That's not me at all. I'm the little blue arrow. The mission I want is over here somewhere. Up on top of here. Ah, here it is. All right, sick. Let's do this. Spear Master versus Ushak Learned Scribe. All right. Seems easy enough. Let's do it. If anyone tries to get through here, you boys will have to stop them and rip their insides out. We're taking that point, and we're going to kill every sorry glob guard in it. All right, my guy is two levels higher than this guy, so that's a good start. Before they can get there and start attacking him, let me get some damage off for my buddy here. Easy. All right, he's pretty weak now, and I'm just going to help him take out who remains. Time to die. Oh, dude. I love it when they go flying like that. It looks so good. Oh, yeah, all of you just get up here with me, honestly. Let's go. This is struck. We will meet again, and I will he's have my running. revenge. Uh, no, you will. Oh, what? He just gets to automatically leave. We can't even, like, stop him at all. Yeah, well, our Spear Master still got a level up, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Alright, I mean, that works. Oh, we can still kill him for EXP, though. Don't mind if I do. Hey, you. Actually, we can dominate him because he's low enough level for it. Do dominate? Uh, dominate, though. Ah, uh, Ariel. Got him. Too easy. You belong to me now. This is what you get for trying to escape. Got a mystic trickster, not bad. Uh, to help us kill your men? Good, get on it. Can I like? That bloke you recruited is a sneaky bastard. He'd make a top backstabber. What you want to do is to make him bodyguard to a war chief, so you can well stab him in the back. Of course, no war chief's gonna take on a bodyguard unless he's proved himself. And the place to do that is in the fight pits. Now, does surviving a few rounds make you trustworthy? No idea. But it's a bloody good laugh. And you'd be a drongo to trust an orc anyway. So it all works out. Go on. Have a go. I do enjoy Bruce occasionally showing up to give me some info. War chiefs use the fight pits to retrieve select their bodyguards. Command a follower to infiltrate a war chief as a bodyguard by providing himself in the pits. He will betray his master the next time you encounter him, stabbing the war chief in the back. You can also command a follower to infiltrate an empty garrison in the fortress where he'll capture a victory point in your eventual siege. Good to know. So let's use the guy I just took. Ooh, shock. And then you have to infiltrate him. All right, do it. All right, awesome. Get to work. Your follower must survive the fight pits to become a spy. You can watch fight pit battles, but in order to maintain your follower's cover, you cannot intervene. Oh, no. That's less than ideal. All right, well, we'll just have to hope that that goes well. But anyways, let's uh, finish murdering some fools. Just because we can while we're here. What do I need to do next is the main reason I'm taking a second to kill them. Is this another one of my guys over there? What is my guy doing over there? Oh, he's gone now. I still don't know how to take out outposts. I should really figure that out. Uh, goodbye to you. It's been real. Easy, brutal kills. I think we just, like, run... I didn't press triangle because I was looking at the, the mini-map. That time I got it, though. I think we just, like, burn them and then leave. There we go. Yeah, we're out. Let's get the Shelob memory that's right here, actually. Grab this really quickly, if you don't mind. The old gods abandoned us, and the music of the world was thrown into disarray. 
He saw it as his mission to set it right. One dark lord correcting the mistakes of another. The future is filled with them. Each one determined to save the world from itself. To purge the chaos. To rule. Am I getting this right? I can't tell. This is like the most messed up Sheila memory we've seen in a minute. Ah, uh, around here? This is a lot harder to maneuver than you'd think, I promise. Where? It's like the matching point for this. Every now and then the controller vibrates, but I don't know if that means I'm getting close or... It's vibrating right now. It's still vibrating. Doesn't seem to be getting any better or worse. Right there? That looks pretty correct. On that one guy, at least. Oh, it's vibrating more. And I hear the spider noises more. Is this right? Is there a give up option? It's vibrating like super hard. I probably right around here. Like this? Oh now it's it's losing it. My controller is about to vibrate out of existence. I oh, know, getting worse. This one is like really specific. Feels like it should be like right here. Well that's Shelob right there, I just realized. There we go. Is like the most difficult Sheila memory we've ever had. After Morgoth came Sauron, and after Sauron, after Sauron will come peace. Yeah, definitely. After Sauron will come peace, no doubt. So now, what should we do? Do have more captains to go after? Can we do the siege mission yet? Ah, oh, yeah, we can. My army is assembled. Probably a good idea to grab one or two more, just for the sake of having more. We also have three Shadows of the Past that are available. Let's do- we haven't done a Shadow of the Past in quite a bit. Let's do this one since it's nearby. And then I think we're going to take this Raven over. And then we'll probably do the mission where we, uh... The uh, Siege mission, that's what it's called. I was going to say Assault mission, but that didn't sound right. We'll save the, uh... I always forget that girl's name. The one who has the Light of Galadriel or whatever his name is. We'll do her mission next session probably. This session will be the Siege. I'm feeling like. But first, the Shadows of the Past. I want to get at least one of those done. Kind of like the idea of us getting, like, one of... One of every, like, side quest thing done. Let's also get the Shelob memory, so long as we're right here next to it. Seems like a good idea to knock them out while they're nearby. Hello there. I spoke to him once of the beauty of Nam. The splendor of its hills, its forests. He seemed to shudder. Sauron looked upon the world as chaos, an imperfection that he would set right. His rings were perfect. The world was not. Uh, that one was a thousand times easier. The only imperfection in Nern is its orcs. Sauron's notion of perfection is a low, mean thing. All right, then. Now we do the Shadow of the Past. Hello there. See if I can get myself a gold. Silver, at least, because I want the skill point, but gold would be ideal. Harness the power of a grog to eliminate the ghoul infestation. Ah, oh, we're going to be riding a grog on this one, because I got that ability not long ago. Let's do it then. Bellas, the orcs respect strength, whether it comes from a Graug, a war chief, or a ring. Yet in Mordor, possessing strength also makes one a tempting target. Oh, I gotta finish before time runs out. I was busy reading everything. How am I going to specifically kill them with fire? Is there like a button that makes me do a fire attack? Triangle? No. This is just normal. Oh, no, that is fire. Okay, yep. I understand now. Burn. Burn. 
L2 plus R1 to throw fiery rock. Dude. Sick. I am currently, like, poisoned. Don't know how to go about fixing that, but whatever. But now I know to basically just, like, spam fire. Who wants to go? Where are you all at? Burn. Burn. Burn, you stupid creatures. Is there, like, one right next to me? Hey. Hey. You. Go away. How is this not hitting you? Oh, there you go. He's on fire now. I think. I don't like that I can't breathe fire and move simultaneously. Kind of sucks. We can't have everything, I guess. And I have to kill all of these enemies by... There's no way I'm finishing this in time, by the way. I just realized. Mainly because I started too slow and I didn't understand how to control the grog. Probably gonna have to run this one again. This is the final infestation, though. So it's definitely plausible. Killing 100 of them with fire makes it a little more difficult, I think. Because I have to focus on killing them with just this instead of what might be quicker. Uh, actually, in hindsight, I might get this done in time. Kill the ones around me. Kill the ones around me. Get out of here. Because they all die in, like, a single hit. Burn. Start burning before you can reach me. Okay, I defeated enough with fire, but I still think fire is, like, the fastest way to murder these things. Oh, I did it! Did I do that in time? I am actually the greatest. I think I finished with, like, ten seconds left or something. But, hey, there we go. Easy shadow of the past. Free skill point, basically. More important than possessing brute strength is the ability to wield it, even if it is not your own. Yeah, I agree. All right, polished wealth gym is what we just got there. Do we have any better armor to put on now that I need to be using? Nope, not that, definitely. Uh, ooh, this is a lot more attack. But I can upgrade this to have one elf shot replenished on a stealth kill. But you know what? I think it's better to just have straight up attack. It's not that hard to recharge, uh... Whatchamacallit. These are both basically the same weapon. Except this one is a level lower. Alright, we should be good then. We have the ring here now. The new ring. The ring of power was forged by Celebrimor and Talion in the Cracks of Doom to counter the Rise of Sauron. I will unlock this. Because it seems stupid not to. I also need to do some more forging. While we're here. I can get this high level uh, green gym now. There we go. Very good. Slowly but surely becoming more powerful gym wise. Yeah, this I already have. So I have two of those. Yeah, I have two of those now. Good. One more and I can get this high level one. 20% less damage to followers. That sounds actually really useful. Captains automatically gain three levels when recruited. Uh, yes. Never mind. Changed my mind immediately. This one can be given this, maybe. Increases max health by 20%. That seems pretty useful. But the thing I currently have gives me... A good bit more experience. Like, 7.5% experience. That that really builds up after a while. I think I'm going to hold on to the experience. I think that's more useful at the moment. Because I do really need to keep my level growing so that my uh, captains can have their level grow as well. You know, go ahead and give me the call mount. Get us one step closer to Dragon Rider. We'll eventually have our hands on that as well. We're doing really good on getting skills, I think. I need to start making my way through all of this branch, the Predator branch, because I've done hardly anything here, as well as ranged. I don't feel like I'd use the ranged stuff very much, though, but we still need to get it regardless. Okay, okay. Let's, there's a Gondorian artifact right in front of us, actually, so definitely grab that first, just because it's in range and we haven't gotten any today. I mean, whenever a collectible like this is right next to us, we should always take the time to just really quickly grab it. Where? What was that? Where is it? Oh, it's a... Okay, it's above me. It is right up here, I assume. Indeed it is. Let's grab this bad boy. Listen to Idril talk about it. Ain't a beast I 
This ore comes from a longboat that washed ashore in the Bay of Belfalis, and it surely passed through many a Corsair's hands before finding its way inland, where I espied it atop a merchant's cart years ago. I have often wondered about the hands that rode it to sea. Were they the calloused hands of a slave, or those of a dashing Corsair of Umba? I suppose I'll never know. Yeah, I guess you won't. What use has an oar away from its boat, and so far from the sea? To remind people that Middle-earth exists beyond the bounds of Mordor. Let's do this really quickly. A supply cache must be near. I can almost hear the brutes arguing over what to pilfer. There are a lot of guys here. There's also a gym just on the map randomly. That's weird, but I may as well pick it up because I can eventually use it to make better gyms. Which I love that setup, by the way. Basically, anytime you're like, hey, you have a bunch of weak things, make them a bunch of really good things, but very slowly. I love that setup. Because it actually incentivizes collecting all this crap. I'm gonna grab this really quickly. Don't mind me. I think that's a level 2 warrior gym as well, so it's especially useful. Time for you to die. Where's the guy I'm looking for again? He's right there. Alright, oh, hello, I, I was busy looking at your leader, can I help you? Please die. Thank you. Alright, this guy's level 19, I don't think I've hit level 19, no, I'm level 18, so I can't even, uh... I'm just gonna have to kill him for experience, basically, which honestly is fine by me. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello. Thank you for not being airproof. Oh, I was bad. Man not much to look at, are you? Wonder what's underneath. Uh, there is a bright man beneath me. You do not want to see him. He is way more upset with, like, everything that exists than I am. I press triangle instead of X because I am a stupid man. So stupid that I even said man strangely. Execute. Oh, isn't he enraged by this? He's also immune to it. Yeah, he's enraged and immune to it. Bad move on my part, honestly. I knew he got enraged by them, but I still thought, like, hey, hit him with it anyway. I need this other shield guy to be, like, there are two adapt- oh, he's adapted. That's bad. There are just too many people around me right now. I need to very quickly get... Oh, I didn't press triangle in time. Dang it. Oh, that's the double axe guy, too. This is just... This day is horrible for me. Nope. Oh, that was bad. I didn't press triangle fast enough. I forgot he's adapted. Get you out of here. And do this. If I can't execute you, I'll just burn you. Uh, do you mind? You did oh, I didn't realize my health was that low. It's fine. I'll block him easily. No problem. Now we can start getting some damage off again. Can you, like, stop this? Nope. What? Well, okay, it gives me the prompt, but even when it's just the prompt, he can block it entirely like it's no big deal. How am I going to hit this guy? Oh, circle. I always forget about circle. There we go. Makes things a lot easier. Oh, you're broken, are you? That's really unfortunate for you, buddy. Time to die. I'm out of arrows, dang it. That was bad. Ah. Uh, oh, he burned to death. How convenient. That definitely could have gone a lot better, but uh all's well that ends well. A ring! So I gave him one. Misplaced pride was his undoing. Celestial rune? The new ring, this is the Celestial Rune, Norsko the Enforcer. Have a follower kill an enemy, 50% increased damage dealt by allies to cursed enemies. Draining or dominating enemies recovers 100% more health. Yes. That's like incredibly useful. Alright, so I need to drain someone then. Hey, come here. I need to build up just enough to drain. What's drain? X plus circle. Yeah, that's it. Still didn't give that much health, probably just because it was one enemy. Also, I dominated him. 
which I didn't think would happen since I drained him, but hey, what's done is done. Anyways, let's, uh... I mean, we're right next to the siege mission. But I do want to go get the raven guy first. How far away is he? Where is he at? Is he, like, far away? Oh, uh, he's so far away. Like, incredibly out of the way. 